Hey everybody, what's up? Pikesnail68 here once again. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Sly Cooper and Thedius Raccoonus. Last time, we made our way through the beginning level of Mesa City, off to a rocky start. Or I think it might just be called a rocky start, I'm not sure. And we also made it through the level known as Boneyard Casino. This time, we'll possibly be finishing everything up that we have to do in this first section of the hub world for Mesa City. Oh god. Should not have gone here. Murray, what's going on down there? Well, I drove to this hot dog stand for a quick snack, and the next thing you know, I'm getting challenged to a race by these gangster dogs. They're a unit for the winner? Yeah. Three times around the track for a key. Doggy man, drive the van with the left analog stick. And if you manage to pick up any nitro power ups, I hate this race mission so much. I like how they put a bunch of ads around it. Like, we see one for um, Sucker Punch, and then there's also some foreshadowing. Foreshadowing scattered throughout here, but. Uh, it's just annoying, really. Like. This race is just so hard to do for me. I like, at the very least, you don't have to do too much in the ways of controls. Like, you literally just need two buttons. But, like, shit like that, like, fucked up physics, that's what annoys me. And these assholes, they can also pick up nitrous as well. Like, see, that asshole just did. I don't think they can use it, but they can pick it up to keep you from using it, so... I want to pass this cop guy. Or not. Because the fucking physics don't want to work with me. Is there a button to honk your horn? It's honking, I can't tell. Whatever. Uh, I need to catch up. I'm not winning it this time. Oh, that's the phone upstairs. Whatever. Fuck it. You guys are gonna have to deal with that ringing until it goes off. Until it goes away. And third place. Shut up! Well, I want to tell it to shut up, it actually does. Okay, let's see if I can do better on the second try. I don't think I've ever beaten this level like the first try, though. Also, I love Murray's head just hanging out the window. Sorry if I'm being quiet, but it's for obvious reasons I need to concentrate. Ugh, bitch. Burning hell. Okay, I went 
one more. Also, like, outside of cutscenes and shit, the van is always shown to be, like, hella small. Even though Bentley has, like, tons of computer equipment in it, it can fit all three of the guys, the van is just shown to be hella small outside of cutscenes. Oh, come on. No! I'll meet you guys when we finish this. No! And I got it. Oh, I hate this mission. I've already been over it, but I hate it. I love how Murray has a different tune for when he picks up a key compared to Ty. Wrong game compared to Sly. Jesus. Okay. On to the next level that's not a god awful racing one. Okay, I believe it's over here. That was close. Another murder related level if the name is any indication. Murray is in position to make a run for this key. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. Ten bucks says I don't get this one first try either. Okay, sorry about that. My parents just got home, so there was a bit of noise. But, um, the pretty easy. So there's some pretty easy two levels, and with the cutting out I'm gonna do, there's only gonna be like a 10 minute long video, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next area and possibly complete a level by the end of this episode.
I believe there's only four keys to obtain by this point. I'm trying to think of all the levels in my head. It's a lot of coins. Um, so there's... Yeah, there's four. There's three more to get in here, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I just wanted to make a joke. Okay. Um, yep, there are three in here. <laughs> I is smirk. Oh, I was hiding behind something. So, oh my god, it's touched me all the way back here. Okay, I didn't get a chance to mention it, but um, depending on how many Lucky Charms Sly has, has on him, that's how many Murray will... <sighs> that's how many Murray will have during um, that mission right there where you have to protect him. Now let's do everything right this time. I'm not even worried about the coins, I just give no shits anymore. Now I'll take you out correctly. On to this level. Wasn't anything over there. What's my death counter at, by the way, guys? Don't know how to edit that in. I wish I did. Look who it is. But yet, well, the green glow well, yet again. She has some thick thighs, I've noticed. Now that I'm looking at them, just. Service is lousy. Once I catch you, you'll know for yourself. Let's grab these real quick. Love how she has to jump back because she's coded to go ahead to a certain point. Or not coded, just, you know what I mean. Has anyone ever legitimately gotten hit by those bolts that she's firing? Like, I kind of understand if you're a kid and you get hit by one, but, like, really? Has anyone ever been hit by those? Okay. There we go. Grab those. I don't know what I just 
working on that, but okay. Let me just make absolutely sure I got all the balls in this room. Looks like it. Two are right over here. Gonna need to bring this guy. Gonna need to rain justice from above on this guy, though. Okay. Good thing I know Navajo Code Talk. Navajo Code Talk? What? Surprised Mugshot knows Navajo Code Talk. What you talking about, Bentley? So I never use these blueprint upgrades just because, like, they don't serve any purpose to me. I guess if you're young and, like, really don't know the locations of the bottles, uh, it's helpful. But, like, for me, I just never use them. They're not all too useful. Oh, hello. And she's back. Really? Holy shit, all the way back here. Uh, since I really have nothing to talk about and doing the Batman thing kind of reminded me, uh, story time. So... Uh, completely unrelated to this game, or Batman, by the way, just saying, or I guess sneaking is going to be related to this. Anyways, uh, so last week, um, one of my friends, he finally got into a position to where he was um, able to get his Xbox again to play, and one of the games that he had, really, okay, thank you game, that um, he told us to get was Borderlands The Handsome Collection, which... I've been playing lots of Borderlands too since then. It's really fun. But, um, uh, me and another friend, we didn't have it. And we were like the only two we played with, so of course he wanted us to get it. But, um, we didn't have Borderlands the Handsome Collection. So we went up to GameStop to get it. And I, um, while we were up there, I had to do something where I had to buy something extra. Is this gonna start level over? Oh my fucking god. Okay. Anyways, uh, I had to buy something extra so that I could end up, like, breaking, uh, positive, basically. So I decided to buy a pack of, um, Pokemon cards, uh, Steam Siege. I bought a Steam Siege booster pack. And in it, I was looking through it. Uh, again, this will be a good time that I wish I knew how to edit stuff in, but I got a, an... A full holographic Magirna EX full art card. Just look up like Magirna EX full art if you're having trouble understanding like what card I'm specifically talking about. But uh, and me and him were sitting there talking on the drive back to my house, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna come into your room one night, uh, like the Pink Panther, be like, dunna, 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 if." And he's saying that like he was gonna walk to the beat and shit. And he said that he was gonna like try and see how I'm like, yeet, you need to know where the card is, dumbass. So yeah. Yes, I collect Pokemon cards. That's how much of a nerd I am. It's actually been a while since I had collected them. Like last time I collected them, like Diamond and Pearl, like that was new. Like Diamond and Pearl was still new the last time I was collecting Pokemon cards. Though I do have a couple of, um, black and white cards, like, I think I have a, I want to say it's a full art Landorus card, holographic, but, um, uh, so I do have a couple of 
Gen 5 ones in there, but uh, the time that I actually was like collecting them and really into them was when uh, Diamond and Pearl was going on. Coincidentally, this, that was the time that I really got back into Pokemon, so yeah. this time. So that was proven to be harder than the fucking... Nah, this isn't harder than racing. Who am I kidding? Racing is hard as shit. Yeah, but it's going to destroy. I'm gonna hunt you down, Cooper. You can't run forever. And you're just gonna float off into the atmosphere and phase out of existence. Jesus. And then phase back into existence during this cutscene. <laughs> wow. Okay, anywho, I think that's enough for this episode. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a like, favorite, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And uh, I'll see you guys next time when we finish up, hopefully finish up everything we have to do in Mugshot's Turf. See, see you then.